Hey guys and girls, it's Blackjack with 396 Guitars. Uh, we got something different on the bench today. Uh, we got a Steinberger, a Spirit by Steinberger. Uh, it's not an active bass. A lot of these were active. Um, let's get into this. We have a couple of questions, a couple of concerns from the customer. Uh, I did a little research and I kind of checked it out a little bit the other day when I got it. Um, but let's get to work and see where this leads us. Pretty neat, nifty little thing. If you've never seen one of these, they're pretty interesting. There were a lot of different versions of this. Um, one of my favorite uh, guitar players, uh, Buck Dharma, plays a, well, what he calls his cheeseburger. It's a Steinberger guitar, but um, excellent instruments they're built very well i'm not a fan but that doesn't mean anything um it's still a good instrument and i believe that it deserves to you know every uh, every uh concession to play as well as it can possibly play so um before i get too far into this uh let's just see where the neck relief is in the video you The neck is really, really straight and, I mean, way too straight. I mean, that's just, you know, no wonder I'm getting buzzing all over the place. Um, it, he, that wasn't one of the concerns of, but you know, from the customer, but you know, I'm getting buzzing at, at F, which is weird. That, you know, that could have something to do with the neck relief. Um, so I did a little bit of investigating. Uh, the basic humbucker pickups in it. There's nothing special, but a lot of the complaints on this guitar, and I don't usually get on the internet and, and, and go, okay, what does everybody say about these? But uh, one of the concerns was from the customer, he goes, these pickups in here are shit. So maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Um, it's not an active bass, as I said, but because he said that, I did a little bit of investigating, and uh, there was a lot of a lot of concern about low end, you know, E and in the lower register roll off volume roll off, what a lot of people refer to as that. Where playing higher up on the fret, you get a lot hotter uh, response. Um, that could be this. It could just be that it's not set up right. But I digress. The strings look pretty good. So um, I had already called the customer and said, hey, we're going to need to get a set of strings. They're $50 because they're ball, ball. Because we don't have a headstock up here. But these strings actually seem like they're pretty new and they're pretty sharp. So we're going to try to salvage them. And we can because there's no wraps. Uh, what else did I find? The tuners. Are down here. You, you, this is instead of tuning up here where the headstock would be, you tune down here. They're really, really, really stiff. Uh, requires more investigation. I, they should be smooth. Now it could be that somebody just screwed in the tension too much on the tuning machines down here. That's possible. Uh, I also found that. Uh, a lot of people don't know what that is. That's if you want to sit it in your lap. Yeah. Because, well, yeah, the damn thing is hard to play sitting down. Um, I, it doesn't seem loose here, but when I opened up the cavity, which I try to do if I'm not familiar with the guitar, and I wanted to know right away where's the battery because I always thought these were active. You know, they got different versions of them. And, yeah, I don't claim to know everything, which brings me to trolls. I'm not a numbers guy, but I've got thousands, tens of thousands of views. 99.999% of the feedback that I get is all positive. I do these videos first and foremost 
so that someone can learn something from them. And I do them so also so that I can show my customers that entrust me with their instruments what happens when I get it in my shop and actually start working on it. I don't just give it back all wiped down with new strings on it. They know, oh, it got all kinds of work done on it. You know, yeah, it's it's uh, that's part of it. Um, but of late, there have been a couple of trolls trying to troll me. You're not going to get a rise out of me, so just stop. I'm telling you from now. That is all I'm going to say about it. So, I although I didn't feel it when I was plugging in the the the, the Guitar cable, yeah, it's loose. They always are. And I don't know how that nut got so loose, but it's backed off a good eighth of an inch, which allows the output jack to move around and do stupid things. And um, it's a really tight cavity. And I'm guessing that the threads don't work any farther up. And yeah, that nut is just wonky on there. Somebody tried to do a repair before, and that's why it won't it won't go any further and tighten up. Um, requires further diagnosis, I guess. Yeah, and I, I can't leave it like that because yeah, the thing is moving around, and he probably wasn't even aware of it, or it could just be. A poor design yeah, because it seems to be right up against the route over here. This may be maybe a cheaper version of this guitar, or somebody put the wrong at some point in its life changed out the output jack and it's the wrong one because the nut will the way the route is right here in the corner will not allow the nut to go all the way on. So I'm going to say that probably needs just a regular old, a regular. You know, it requires further investigation. That does not look right. There's a huge gap. And I don't know if the camera will pick up on that right there where the nut is still showing threads against the inside part of the body cavity. And I don't think it's supposed to have that kind of pickup, uh, or I'm sorry, not pickup, um, uh, output jack. Can't tighten the nut any further. It, it, it grinds against the route, that round route. Now, yeah, we could, you know, file this down and get a little chip a little bit of wood out of there, but I'm thinking what it needs is a real Correct. The whole thing is moving around in there. Yeah. It doesn't even seem like it's in the pocket, the, the, the drill hole, correctly. I'm going to have to try to find the right wrench for that standby. All right, so yeah, I found a, a really thin wrench and was able between that and needle nose to get it snugged up so it's tight against, but the nut does not go flat against the inside of the cut. The only, the only fix I can see is to attempt to put a different type of output jack on it <clears throat> or just get in there and dig out that little bit of material. Either way, it's an easy fix. Uh, all the wiring looks original, although it's, whew, I don't know what year this thing is, and there's no serial numbers on it anywhere that I can see that would make it easy enough to try to find out. Oh, wait, there's a serial number. All right, so further, further investigation is required. Um, we're going to leave that on there for now because I don't need to get in there, but what I want to do is take the strings off in this video and get the covers off. I'm pretty sure we're going to find humbuckers in there, and they're probably not real expensive ones. I think this is probably their, call it whatever you want, their, their 
entry level or their lower brand uh, Steinberger. Steinberger, Hamburger, John Burger, who knows? I'm sure I'll get a million comments. If, you know, well, I know all about that. What are you doing? Okay, well, I appreciate your help. Try to keep it positive. I wonder if I should try to do some adjustments on it first. Just I'm going to try to adjust the truss rod just because I can. Because, damn, it's really, really, really tight. And I'm going to guess that that's going to be a 4 millimeter. Yep. Yeah, super tight. At least it's easy to get at. It's got a two-way truss rod in it. That's probably a little too far. Well, let's measure it because on this thing I can't tell. You fella. You know, it was super tight before. Boy, the action's a mile high. Oh, much better. Much better. Stay in the video here a little bit. Might have gone too far. I'll back it off slightly, retune it, and check string height. See, where it wants to be adjusted is it's now it's slack. So to get relief, I, I forced it in. It's because it's a two-way truss rod, and it was a little too much. So I'm going to put just enough pressure on it, tightening it, and try that and see if I get a better feel. Let's just see. Yeah. Interesting that it's got a two-way truss rod. I gotta run that serial number and see what year this thing is. I don't think it's that old. It looks like it's in really good shape. I like that. Um, let me tune this thing back up and see what we can see. I, did, I was playing it and I had it tuned up. Well, the oh, jack feels better. Not sure I like that. They're really stiff. I mean, I'm sure the camera mic is picking up on that. I hope, I hope it doesn't have too much distortion for some of you. That that clicking might cause distortion. That's all we needed was a little bit of neck relief to stop that buzzing at the first fret. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, uh, let's see where the string height is. I'm doing all this just because I want to know where I, where I start before I know where I can go. It's pretty damn high. It's way high. So, we need to lower that. Yes. Oh, my phone's ringing. Same by. Sorry about that. Uh, so, um, 
while I was on pause, I made sure that everything was free here. You have a locking screw here to set your saddle height. And then you have, and they're splayed, so you bring up the back and then the front to get them even. Um, they're, they're working, they're free, they're not stripped out or anything like that, actually. It doesn't surprise me because the guitar is in good shape. Um, so I got that adjusted, uh, and it was definitely needing adjustment. There was a lot of string action on this thing, way too much. I'm thinking that the this tuning machine set is just going to need some lube. So the D didn't need much. And the more I turn them, it seems like the more they loosen up. I, I'm sure they just need a little bit of lube. It does hold tune really well. I like the that disappeared. I'm sure this guitar was not very playable. <laughs> it feels so weird without a headstock up there. Okay, so we know that's working. This is working. The truss rod, we already made an adjustment on it. I'm going to pause really quickly while I take the strings off because I want to get these covers off and see just what we're dealing with in here because that was one of the concerns of the customer and I'd like to give them an answer if there's an upgrade available for that. So give me a minute. So as I suspected, um, you're not going to be able to take the cover off. They're, they're labeled and they're branded Steinberger. <clears throat> these are run-of-the-mill humbuckers there's nothing fancy going on here um, they have a I mean almost like a Les Paul type you know beauty ring and a spring assembly to adjust your height so if he wants to change pickups yeah we can find hotter pickups for it but I don't see the point that's that's where the end of this, the short and long of it is. I think we got some crackling electronics. They need to be cleaned. I think this needs to be lubed up. We've already done uh, uh, checked setup adjustments and everything is free and clear. I think this guitar needs to be cleaned. I think we need to, you know, do our regular number on the neck and the frets and clean it up. And I think with a good setup and the way that it, it, it is, it's a good player. Um, and by his own admission, he uses it when he's on the road as a kind of a sit around the trailers, a downtime. He can sit and still, you know, play music. So uh, I'm going to talk to the customer and let him know. I, I think, you know, a little bit of lube, a little bit of adjustment here and loosen these up. Um, get them. I think the guitar is ready to rock. It just needed some love. Um, as far as his his request for what kind of hot pickups can we put in there? Yeah, we could do that, but not my recommendation. Not my recommendation. So that, my friends, is part one of the Steinberger. Uh, we've done a little bit. You've seen it. It's a neat instrument. Don't get me wrong. It screams the eighties. Uh, but um, I don't think it. I don't think he needs to go as far as he wants to go with it. But hey, customer wants what the customer wants. If he wants to do pickups, we'll sort some pickups out and get it done. We'll talk soon. Remember, if you dig what I'm doing, like and subscribe. If you're going to troll me, kiss my ass.